how to possess your gifts, how to make use of your gifts, that's when we started having all manner of things, sicknesses, diseases, problems, hardship, you know, things that we never expect happen to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. The gift of God is a special gift that is given to believers. It's only believers that these gifts are given to. Amen. If you don't believe in the world, the gift will be far away from you. You might be born again, but fully in your heart and born again. But there is something. This is wonderful. That you don't believe in. You see, day to day in our life, our daily living, I'm a Christian. Oh, yes, I'm a Christian because I was born as a Christian. But the principle of it, if I don't follow it, Christianity will not take me anywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray this morning that God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If we look at the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 1 18, 17 to 18, he said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eye of your understanding is enlightened. Praise the Lord. So it is the only the Father of glory that can give you Amen. peace. Yes. It is only the Father of glory. When you are saying you will be successful, it is only the Father of glory. Even the enlightenment you are talking about, it is only the Father of glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The knowledge of His work. Your eyes, of course. Needs to be enlightened. Amen. The light that is not in your eye needs to be lifted up. The thing that is covering us, you know, assessing our destiny, mm -hmm. needs to be pulled off us. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. So I pray this morning that God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. As we we'll be on our feet, you know, to inherit, for you to get the inheritance of Christ, there are some certain things you need to do. There's so many things. That God had in store for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we need to, you know, have the knowledge and the wisdom of God. Amen. And by mercy, we part favor. Amen. By mercy, we part grace. Amen. By mercy, things started happening. Amen. You started walking in the realm that you don't deserve. Amen. You started going into the realm that you don't even think of. Praise Amen. the Lord. We are talking of enlightenment this Amen. year. It's how far you see your enlightenment to get it. Amen. If every day, Pastor has been telling us about enlightenment, and I'm sitting here, I keep saying, oh, okay, it's well with all that. I don't think I'll be able to make that. I'm like, oh, this one is doing well. Me, I don't think I'll be able to achieve that. It is unto you according to your faith. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Enlightenment, you need to walk towards it and look at it. Possess it, grab it. Amen. Because it is in your heart. Amen. If anything is in our heart, God give it to us. Praise the Lord. So I want to I want to be on our feet this morning. I just want to be on our feet so we need to appreciate God. So we're going to be asking God. This is a pentecost Sunday. I want your spirit to come upon me. Amen. I want you to pave my way. I want you to remove the blindness that has been blindfolding my eyes, that is taking me away from my calling, that is taking me away from my you know, from the inheritance of Christ. Begin to pray. Begin to ask God this morning. Father, Lord, you come and have come this morning. Remove every blindness. Remove everything, every obstacle, anything that is standing our way. Not to possess our destiny, oh Lord. Not to walk into the victory or into the glory, into the destiny that you have brought us onto. Father Lord Jehovah, we have come before you, oh Lord. As a church, oh Lord Jehovah. As a divinity, we are standing this morning, in this particular Sunday, that your spirit will come upon us. That your spirit will come upon us. Your spirit, oh Lord Jehovah, will overwhelm us, oh Lord. We overpower us, oh Lord. We will take us, oh Lord Jehovah, to the possession of our destiny. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, on this particular Sunday, we are praying, O Lord, we will walk in your unity. We will 
work in your power. Oh, let us get the machine that's going to come Pray and ask God as you want to be comforted. Let you want a light in your spirit. Let you want a light giant you. Let you want connect you to the spirit realm. Let the word of God take you to the level where the Lord wants you alone. Let us get the machine
smile. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, you want to start? You want to start? You want to start? You want to start? You want to go ahead and
thank you, Dickness, for blessing us today. And we appreciate all of us for all the great testimony of our sister that the Lord decided not to allow her to pass on like that. But in his favor is life. That is Psalm 30, verse 5. In his favor is life. In other words, God's favor can last through a lifetime. Number 2, Psalm 5, verse 12. He said, Thou will bless the righteous with favor as of a shield. So that was when God bless you with favor, God has blessed you with a shield of protection that will shield you from untimely death, that will shield your eyes from tears and shield you from setback. I pray for everybody on this platform today. The 